Are you a freshman just starting high school? Are you a senior counting down the days of graduation? Or are you just a kid that was scrolling through YouTube and found this video? Whatever the case may be, we're going to talk about three life lessons I wish I knew in high school. Stay tuned because you're going to get tons of value. Peace, love, and namaste, guys. What is up? It is your boy, Isai, aka The Alchemist. Welcome to this video. You click this for a reason. Today, we're going to talk about three life lessons that I learned in high school, or I should say, lessons I wish I knew in high school. Now, a lot of you watching this might be in different stages in life. You might be a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Shoot, you might not even be in high school. You just kind of want to watch this video, see if the lessons that you learned over your life match with mine or match with other people's. You know, looking back at it, high school was actually one of the best times of my life and one of the easiest times of my life. Uh, I'm 23 years old, uh, very young still, but definitely, you know, a couple years out of high school. Uh, I graduated in 2013, 1-3, class of 1-3, stand up if you with me. Um, Westminster, Colorado, uh, Westminster High School is where I graduated. Uh, right now I reside in LA. And like I said, high school was a really great time for me. Uh, some of the best friends that I have still today, I met in high school. And the memories I've had, the people I've met, the experiences I've had, have all carved to make me the person I am today. But, just like anything else, there's positives and negatives to any situation. And there's definitely some life lessons that I look back on and I wish, dang, if I knew this in high school, this would have changed my life this way or this would have helped me this way, or this would have rose me up this way. Now, I will say, I do believe everything happens for a reason. So I do believe the experiences that you had, uh, whether it's a heartbreak, the failed test, you not being friends with someone, they all happen for a reason in your life. Um, whatever you believe in, God, the universe, you know, they put you in that position for a reason. But if I can help you guys in any way and teach you the lessons that I learned today that I wish I knew in high school, maybe that could alter your path and put you on the right direction or towards the right direction. But before I go on any further, let's get to these lessons because I know that's what you're here for. So lesson one, don't try to fit in, be unique. Look guys, I get it. I'm only 23 years old. I haven't been out of high school that long. I know how it is to be in high school. I know how it is to want to feel like you should fit in and be cool, whatever that means, right? What does cool even mean? Um, and I speak uh, of this from experience because I've been in that situation where I was either hanging out with certain groups or doing things I probably shouldn't have just to kind of feel cool and fit in with the cool kids, whatever the case may be. But I can tell you now, not fitting in and being unique is something that you should be so blessed for and what you should strive for. So let me give you an example. So I live in LA now and I just moved here in May. So it's August, I believe. Uh, yeah, no, I believe it's August. And the reason I moved to LA was to pursue my entertaining or entertainment career, acting, spoken word, music. Uh, just because I believed that this was the nesting ground for me to really prosper and bloom into that field. And now I'm doing these acting classes and uh, you know I'm really developing myself as an entertainer, as an actor. And I've been passionate about this for years. I've been wanting to be on Disney Channel forever. But I never pursued it just because one, I thought what would people really think about me? And two, when I had the opportunity to in high school, I never really actually reached for it. I never actually went for it just because I didn't think that was cool. You know, I didn't think being in drama was a cool thing to do. You know what I mean? I wanted to fit in and it hurt me back in the day, but I didn't realize, you know, what that felt like or what that feeling was just because I was too busy worrying about, you know, fitting in with this group or you know, oh, that girl's not gonna like me if I do acting, so I probably shouldn't do that, you know what I mean? Just thinking about all these different things that might <laughs> affect me just because I think of, I'm thinking of what other people might think of me. And now, my uniqueness and me being 
who I am today and me definitely not trying to fit in with what anyone's doing has put me on the right path to success and has put me in a position where people are looking up to me. People are looking up to this content that you're watching. And I wouldn't be here if I wasn't being myself, I wasn't being unique. So I want you to think about this. Whatever phase you're at in high school, if you're in high school watching this, is that certain group that you're hanging out with really your friends? Or are you just trying to impress them because you think they're cool? Is that girl or guy that you're dating really someone you're genuinely attracted to and you want to be with? Or do they have a lot of followers on Instagram and you want to be with them because of that? You see, don't fit in guys. That is the worst thing you can do. Especially if you want to grow up and have these amazing dreams that you want to travel the world or be an entertainer, you know, change the world, whatever the case may be. All those people that you look up to, whether they're an artist, um, a monk, um, a makeup artist, whatever the case may be, whoever you look up to, they didn't fit in. They all did something unique and they all have something unique about them. So embody that in yourself today as soon as you watch this and you know really reevaluate your life and what you're doing with that. Don't fit in, trust me. I made that mistake. Don't do that. Lesson number two. It's okay to not know what you want to do the rest of your life. Look guys, I've felt the pressure, I know you feel the pressure, whether it's from your parents or the teachers or aunties or friends, whatever the case may be, you're gonna feel pressure from all different angles. But I'm telling you right now, it's okay to not know what you wanna do the rest of your life. It's okay to not know what career you wanna do. It's okay to not know what college you wanna to go to, if you wanna to go to college. So I remember every year in high school, you know, from freshman to senior year, how some of my friends, definitely the teachers, and definitely some family members would ask me, oh, okay, well, what do you wanna do after high school? Do you wanna to go to college? Okay, what do you wanna to go to college for? Oh, okay, what are you gonna do after college? Oh, awesome, what are you gonna do after that job? Okay, what are you gonna do when you die? Oh, <laughs> that whole pressure of knowing, okay, I'm gonna do this and this and this and this and this and this. It just doesn't work out like that, guys. And that's okay. You know, I remember <laughs> my senior year and it was very remarkable. It was uh, about a week before I was supposed to graduate. And I have signed up for college and everything like that. And I was in my graphic design class and I was really sitting there thinking like, is this what I wanna do? Is this where my life is taking me? Is this really my purpose? You know, I felt that pressure just because I heard it from everyone, you know what I mean? And you're gonna hear it too if you haven't already. And it's unfortunate, but that's the time we live in right now. And that's why I'm making this video for you guys right now to prepare you for what you're gonna hear if you haven't heard it already. Because you are gonna feel that pressure of, you know, people asking you, oh, what do you wanna do the rest of your life? Or what do you wanna do as a career? You know, a career. What do you wanna do in college? And we, we're gonna feel the pressure to choose something, not. <laughs> And it's not even necessarily something we want to do. It's something that we're pressured into, whether it's from the schools or our parents. So I ended up graduating, had a great summer, and I ended up going to college for about a year and a half. And I love the atmosphere in a sense where people want to better themselves and want to educate themselves. Uh, that about college I really did like, but there was no fire in my heart. There was nothing that set me up and woke me up every day like, yes, let's get it, let's go. I wasn't like that about college. And that's because I wasn't passionate about it. I wasn't passionate about going to school. I wasn't passionate about what I was going for. I was pressured into it by society, by the world saying that college was the way to success. And as soon as I dropped out, yes, I definitely heard it from my parents. And I definitely heard it from family members and friends and, you know, the world, but it was the happiest I've felt in a while. And that decision to understand that, you know what, Isai, it's okay that you don't know what you want to do. Just let life take its course and go with the flow. And that's what I've been doing ever since. And <laughs> Honestly guys, I wake up 100% happy every day. And you know there's some days where I feel down, but most of the time, like I'm 100% happy. 
Now, like I said, you're gonna feel this pressure in high school that you might need to feel like you should pick a career, or pick something you wanna do the rest of your life. And it's not necessarily a bad thing to, you know, place things out on a board and see like, okay, well, what if I did this? Or what if I did that? But actually feeling the pressure of choosing something and having to stick with it the rest of your life, that's not reality. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm telling you that that's okay. And it's okay to feel this way because I know you're going to feel this way. And I know you're going to feel this pressure from society to know what you want to do the rest of your life. So I want you to think about this tonight once you watch this or today, whenever you're watching this. Think about a decision that you're making right now, or for your future, for yourself, or is it coming from society, from your parents, from teachers? Because like I said, it's okay to not know what you want to do the rest of your life. We have so much more life to live. Lesson number uno, dos, tres, three. Everyone's gonna give you their own opinion, but at the end of the day, it's your life. So this lesson kind of applies to the first two as well, uh, but I wanted to put it in its own separate category because this lesson uh, I still apply with today and I'm still building off of and I'm still growing and it's something that could have kind of changed my life if I knew it in high school, so that's why I'm giving it to you guys. So as you start to grow into the man or the woman that you want to become, you know, that beautiful essence of spiritual human that you're becoming, you're going to realize that there's going to be some things that you've learned and some lessons that you learned that are going to make you a better person. Actually, all lessons that you're going to learn are going to make you a better person, but some are going to either be good lessons that, oh, okay, I'm glad I did that, or some are going to be like, damn, I shouldn't have done that, I messed up but that's okay, I learned. And part of that growing process is getting help from others and hearing advice from other people, whether it be your family members or friends or teachers or just a random guy on the street. But this is the thing to remember. Their opinion doesn't mean it's true, just like your opinion doesn't mean it's true, but at the end of the day, it's your life. Now, I wanna talk about a story where I think I was a sophomore in high school and I started dating this girl. Uh, I thought she was gorgeous and it was like my first kind of like, one of my first girlfriends in high school. So I was loving it, I was feeling myself like she was she was cute and you know, like I love you Devin, we were a good thing. But some of my friends at the time had an opinion about her, you know, saying things like, oh well, I heard she did this with this person or well, I heard she did this or She's like this, you shouldn't date her. And honestly, I let that sink into me and alter my mind state and my mindset about her. And I ended up breaking up with her over some dumb shit. I'll say it like that, some dumb shit. And when I look back at, it, back at it now, that was really fucked up on my end. And sorry to cuss, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm trying to be real with you guys. Like it was really messed up on my end to you know, have judged someone like that and to put her in a position where she didn't feel good about herself just because I listened to another person's opinion about her. So as you grow up through high school career, um, this short part of your life that uh, you should enjoy, you're gonna hear opinions from all over, from your homeboys, from your homegirls, to like I said, the teachers, to your parents. And they're gonna give you advice and their opinion based on how they have lived their life and the experiences that they've learned in their life. Um, for friends and stuff like that, people our age, they're gonna base it off, you know, maybe a little different things. Like maybe they had a crush on that person, they don't want you talking to them. Or, oh, they heard something and it's a rumor. Um, but when you talk about teachers and you know parents, people that are older than us and people that have lived longer and experienced life things, they're gonna give you their opinion and their advice based on uh, the lessons that they've learned through their life and the experience that they've had. And it's, it's your choice to take it um, as positive or negative, you know what I mean? You can take it and apply it to your life, you can take it and not apply it, you know? Like I said, at the end of the day, it's your life. But you do have to realize that with 
that being said, if they end up being right, like parents said, most of the time are, or teachers are, um, there's cause and effect and there's pros and cons to everything. So if they gave you advice and you didn't decide to take it because it's your life and yes you should because it's your life and you end up getting hurt or you end up putting yourself in a bad position, um, that's your fault because it was your choice and your decision. But that's the hidden beauty of it is because sometimes you're going to be right and sometimes you're going to be wrong, but that's part of life. So all these opinions that you're going to hear throughout your life, even bigger than high school, throughout your life are going to be with a grain of salt. You really have to sit down and think about your life, take in what they have to say, see if it really applies to you and see if you want to roll with it. You know, There's plenty of people that gave me advice that uh, I didn't take and some of them worked out great because I was right and some of them didn't work out because I was wrong. And there's some advice that you know I was given to me and I and I did take and it was great advice and I'm glad I took it and sometimes it was advice that I took and it didn't go right at all and it was the wrong way and you know that's just the that's the kind of vortex we live in in that situation um, but I know the pressure of feeling like other people's opinion uh, should dictate how you should act especially you know if you're trying to impress people and you know, like I said, unfortunately with that girl, that's what I did. I took their opinion and I felt really bad about it. And thinking about it to this day, um, it was something I wish I didn't do. Uh, but I never would have learned from it. So it's a, uh, I'm glad, you know, it's a, uh, you know, think about life and how everything happens. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a, uh, it all happens for a reason. So. Don't feel bad about it, just kind of stay positive and go with the flow. So take people's opinions with a grain of salt, apply them to your life, really analyze it and see if that works for you because that's the only way you're going to figure it out. So guys, that was the three life lessons that I wish I knew in high school. Let's recap. One, don't try to fit in, be unique, it's the best thing you can do in your life. Two. It's okay to not know what you want to do the rest of your life. We have plenty of time to figure out what we want to do with our life. Enjoy the journey, uh, build awesome relationships, and just have fun, enjoy life. And three, people are gonna give you their opinions. Doesn't mean they're right or wrong. It's just about your choice and where you are in your life and if you choose to take that advice um, in a positive way, in a negative way, and if you want to apply it to your life or not. But it's your life, it's your decision at the end of the day. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it brought you value. If it did, definitely like it, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, share this out to anyone that you know that's in high school that might want to hear this, or something that you just really just think that I would love to hear this advice, or would love to hear it from me. Uh, I appreciate you guys 100%. Uh, stay tuned on the channel, you're gonna hear a lot of other life advice like this. Check out the vlogs and you know leave a comment below what you think about this or what are some less lessons that you think you, should, you want to apply to your life or something that um that you learned over the course of your life in high school or even after that so far i'm definitely interested in hearing and uh other than that guys i love you guys peace love and namaste until next time i am out peace